Hey guys, World Eater here. I'm going to be adding a new segment to the channel where I talk about any patch notes, bugs, or anything of the sort. So let's go and get through this. For the first part, we're going to be going through the rewards. This week we have PvP, Invasion, Gauntlet, and Fishing of course. Then we're going to go any, over any fixes that might have occurred. And after that, if there's anything new in the shop that's exciting, we'll go through that as well. So let's start off with PvP. For this week, it's going to be Team of Five, and if you see here, there's going to be pretty much your four familiars and yourself. That also carries on in Gauntlet, so if it's going to be a Team of Five in PvP, it will be a Team of Five in Gauntlet. For the rewards, I'm pretty sure it's, there, uh, it's similar for Tier 17 and 18. Uh, it's going to be Mythic Pet for first, along with 725 of Component Cream, Critter Jelly, and Mount Gut. For second place, you're going to get the Legendary Pet Reward Chest along with Component Cream, Critter Jelly, and Mount Guts. All three of those, 610. For the rank of the ranks three to uh, third to fifth, you're gonna get a legendary pet chest as well. Just with fewer materials, it's gonna be 560 for these three. For the points, 2.5 mil all the way to 10 mil will get you that mythic material chest. That's always worth grinding for, in my opinion, if you can. Do I recommend grinding this week? Honestly, yes but only if you have enough resources to get what you want. Uh, just to even get second to fifth, I would say you might want to save at least 25 to 30 um, packs, golden packs. So that's a, that's that's still a maybe. You're gonna want to have um, guild honor and maybe some coins sitting by, sitting, uh, sitting side on deck, just in case you want to um, push a little more because I promise you Wednesday and Thursday, someone always pushes like really crazy on that week. So keep an eye out. Invasion, the rewards are going to be the Relic Runes for 17 and 18. It's going to be um, a Mythic Relic Rune for first place with 725 of each kind of fragment. That's going to be the Ancient, Elemental, and Rune Fragments. Second place is going to be the Legendary Relic Rune, otherwise known as the Upwards Triangle for some of the people that may know it like that. Uh, again, it's going to be 610 though, but for all these fragments... And third to fifth, it's going to be the same thing, just with fewer fragments as the second place. Um, I recommend pushing this if you're lacking in your rune department. It's always really good to have these runes as a free reward, or whatever you want to call it, free, not free, as a reward, because this is the most expensive rune to make right now, I believe, is either the upwards triangle, or the triangles, or the center rune. So this is a pretty good rune to push for. Uh, the points is going to be 200k to get um, that mythic material chest. That's going to be it for Invasion. Let's go with Gauntlet. So for Tier 17 and 18, it's going to be Mythic Neuron Stimulator Brains, as I like to call them, uh, for the first place. It's going to be 725 for Regulators, Brain Stamps, and Micron Chippos. Honestly, very, very nice to push as well. This whole week is very, very compelling to push just about anything. Um, these are the most useful things in the game, in my opinion. If your familiars are strong, they will carry you to the end. Um, second place is going to be the Legendary Brain with 610 of these three. Third place to fifth place is going to be the Legendary Brain with just fewer materials as well. The points is going to be 10 million points, which I think is unfortunate. I wish it was like PvP where it was 2.5 to 10 million will get you the Mythic Material Chest, but hey, um, what can you do? If you can push that, always worth getting the Mythic Material Chest. Do I recommend it? Depending on the week, if you can get that 10 mil and you can somehow snag first through fifth, yes. Now, really quick, as a free-to-play, I still recommend you at least try to get to rank 250 or lower, or technically higher, I guess, because I promise you, epic brains are still very, very good. If you are lacking, um, like if your familiars just feel weak, I promise you, most of the time when people ask me and I look at what they got, it's because their familiars don't have a good brain, so... Please, if you guys want to do better, I promise you the brains will help push this week if you can. Uh, for fishing, let's go ahead and go over the event. Again, fishing is all luck-based. If you're curious, it's not skill-based. It's all luck-based. There's very little skill involved in this. Go ahead and go on with the rewards. It's going to be stat points. It's going to be three stat points for first. Micron Chippos, along with seashells and gems. The points, uh, honestly, the points don't really matter this week. Just reach 1k every week, in my opinion, if you want to slowly get some stuff. The gold's always nice. Now let's go on with the bugs and the fixes and all that stuff. Now there was one bug that was very small. Let me go ahead and show you. I think I have it here. Yes. Okay. So for this set, 
which is the Celica set, tier 18, TG, I believe. Um, for the 3 out of 4 bonus, if you see here, it says heal team or so-and-so damage when you apply combustion. Now, it's always been labeled as heal team, but it was doing spread heal team or spread heal? Yeah, spread heal pretty much. Um, spread heal your team, of course. Or so-and-so damage when you apply combustion. So it's pretty much just doing what it was already labeled to do. Is that a buff or a nerf? I personally think it's a nerf, but some people see it as a buff. It really depends. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the only change there. Let's go ahead and go on with the shop. Now, I'm not really going to go over any of the stuff that you typically see. I'll probably make a separate video for that. That way it's easier to find the algorithm for you guys that are looking for that information. But um, let's just go ahead and go on with something that's new here, which is going to be the Super Pet Pack. Now the Super Pet Pack is going to be 30 USD. It's going to come with a cosmetic pet cami. Now for you guys that don't know this, if you're newer, cosmetic pets do not give you any bonus, so do not equip this. You could scrap it if you want and you'll still have the cosmetic. Now it also comes with two mega pet eggs, one defensive and one offensive. It also comes with two ticket rolls, but honestly, even if it didn't come with the ticket rolls, it's still a good buy. Now, yes, I am recommending this purchase because it contains five random pets in each egg. This one's defensive though, and this one's offensive, and it guarantees at least one epic in each egg or better. So you can pretty much leave with the worst case scenario, two epic pets, which could still change your game if you're getting hard stock on just rares and commons and honestly we're, the best case scenario you can leave with a prisby and like a sardines or a tobert or something or an ergoff that's great no matter what you get they're still worth because if they're legendary you can always plus three them and scrap them so you can roll a pet twice which is pretty nice so very good buy brand new product i recommend getting this and that is going to be the end of the patch notes. If you guys have any video ideas, leave them in the comments below. If you guys have any questions, anything at all, don't be afraid to reach out to me. Um, I'm in Zilfer's Discord. I'm in both the official and unofficial Bit Heroes Discord. Um, you can hit me up in the comments. I'll always read them and reply. Um, don't be afraid to reach out to me. Um, I wish I can add you all in the game, but unfortunately, um, I'm already full. Well, I have one spot right now, which is weird. Oh, yeah. Someone joined the guild and I unfriended them. That's why. So I guess I have one spot. But anyways, yeah, that'll be the end of the video. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.